10-win season undefeated against in-state rivals and in position for a top-tier bowl game. Just another year for head coach Jimbo Fisher in Florida State football. Coming off an incredible run of 29 straight wins and a college football playoff berth, the Knolls were tasked with replacing some of the best players to ever come through the story program. Gone were the likes of Jameis Winston, Rashad Green, and numerous others that helped rekindle a dynasty. So what did the Knolls do? Simply reload. Florida State ran out to a quick 4-0 start behind a stingy defense led by defensive coordinator Charles Kelly. Next on tap was a date with Miami. In a gritty effort, Florida State made every key play down the stretch to win their sixth straight game against the Hurricanes. The Knolls hit a bit of a speed bump going 2-2 in their next four games dropping heartbreakers to Georgia Tech and Clemson on the road to give them their first multi-loss season in nearly two years. The program was faced with a new barrier, a different feeling than ones felt in previous undefeated seasons. Instead of feeling sorry for themselves, the Knolls rebounded in emphatic fashion, convincingly defeating NC State in Chattanooga to move just one win away of a 10-win season. The back-to-back -back win set up the annual showdown with the Florida Gators, champions of the SEC East. Derwin James and the Knowles defense utterly shut down the UF offense in the swamp, while Dalvin Cook carved his way through the Gators defense, giving FSU its fifth win over its rival in the last six years. The season has been a success. Dalvin Cook rushed his way into the record books in a Heisman Trophy-worthy campaign, while the young Seminoles' defense showed signs of a dominating future. The team will have an opportunity to finish the 2015 season on a high note in a premier bowl game against a marquee opponent. An incredible season filled with highlight moments set the building blocks for FSU, a strong foundation laid for yet another championship run in 2016. I'm Mario Masudi, reporting for Seminole Sports Magazine.